there, it's Mary from stampingmary.stampingup.net. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today's project features the mini pocket envelope dies, which are featured in the annual catalogue. It's possible that this is one of those die sets that you may have missed. So this is the Stamping Up uh, annual catalogue right there. And the mini pocket dies are actually on page 172. That's them right there. And it's there's no stamp set with this one. It's just the dies. And they make this very cute little um, envelope pocket. So great for um, a gift card, obviously. Um, you could put um, some jewellery, earrings, anything really like, you know, like a cute little gift. And then you put some chocolate in there. Um, it's really easy to make. And I have used... Also, some of the free celebration paper in this uh, this one as well. So this is the paper I'm talking about. I'm using the striped one, but it comes in a pack of it's six by six. It's silver and gold, so some of it is spotted and some of it is um, striped. So there's the the silver stripe, and that's the gold dot, and there's also the silver spot right there. Such a cute, um, cute paper, and it's free during our celebration promotion with a qualifying purchase over $110 New Zealand or more. Um, I have put links to all the products I've used in the description bar below, so when you're finished watching the video, you are welcome to click on those and you'll be taken directly to my store. So let's crack on and make this little project. It's very simple. So I'm using one piece of the designer series paper, and it's measures six by six. And this is the die I was talking about, the mini envelope pocket die. So you only have to run it through your stamp and cut and emboss machine once. Um, it also has the dies that make the bow. That's them there. Very cute. And then this very cute little um, uh, leaf, which I've uh, cut out in cra our craft cardstock and a little bit of vellum as well. So let's make it. Bring in the stamp and cut and emboss machine right here. Okay. And all you have to do, so when I made when I did this one, um, I also used the edge bits to make the, the leftover pieces, I should say, to make the um, bow. So I was able to use one whole piece of the designer series paper. Which was, you know, good use of this lovely paper. There we go. I've done already done all the other die cutting, so we don't need to worry about the die stamp and cut and emboss machine anymore. And there you have it. Yes, yeah, so I use the extra pieces, the leftover die cut piece here to, to cut out my bow. So. This is where it's so easy to make. So we're just going to fold over on those score lines. I hope you can see it's got some score lines on there, which are pretty easy to see, she says. <laughs> so I'll fold that one. And then it's got these um, score lines at the edges here. So we're going to fold those down. And fold that one down. Now this... Now all you have to do is fold it over and it's made because we're going to be putting our glue, uh, our adhesive, down on, on these pieces here. Now this is where it gets, you can use your Tombow or your um, stamp, and seal, stamp and Seal or adhesive tape, double sided tape, whatever you prefer. I'm going to actually put a little bit of um, Tombow down um, just it makes it a bit easier. So, not too much because we don't want it to take forever to dry and also we don't want it leaking. So all I'm doing is folding it over. Imagine if you were doing a few of these as gifts, how quick will these be to make? So very quick. And there it is. Easy, easy, easy. Now this piece here is just a piece of our craft cardstock um, and I just cut that at, it's just this also measures 6 by 6 and I just cut that at uh, 1 inch. 
and that's simply going to wrap around here. But we won't do that right now because I want to show you how the bow goes together. So that wasn't quite straight. There you go. That's better. So I've cut the bow out already and I cut it so that the um, lines were going in the, the, the correct way. So the bow just um, comes, in, comes in these two pieces here. Give it a little bit of a curve with your bone folder and then all we're going to do is fold in each of these pieces so they come in like that. So just a dab of glue uh, of Tombow. Hold that down. Oops, not quite. And a little bit more. Like that. And there you have it. How easy is that to make? So the um, the little tail piece, whatever you want to call it, just wraps around a couple of times, and because I want the um, I want that to be at the bottom, but I want the I want the design to be showing. I'm going to have a little piece of the white in there. So if you were just using a plain piece of cardstock, it wouldn't matter too much. So that just wraps around. Let's get a little bit of adhesive again on here. Till it's dry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Next, let's make this little belly band with the craft. So it's just a matter of just bringing it around here and folding it over. That's all there is for that. The stamping seal. And then I've already gone ahead and cut out my little um, my pieces here. So the vellum and the cardstock with that ni very uh, nice little leaf die. Um, I use the vellum just to sort of break up so I didn't have too much of that, um, of the white showing, I guess, or the cardstock. Should stay. And so I'm just putting a little bit of adhesive on there. Just a little bit. And we won't see it on this, because it'll be tucked in underneath. And that's going to go on there. So I might use a couple of glue dots or a dimensional, but the glue dots happen to be the thing that is closest to me right now. These glue dots are so strong. I didn't want to come off. I actually made that little tail a bit smaller than that one. I think I like it a little bit smaller, actually. The Tombow. Just there. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Oops. It's 
pretty simple. Now for the final little piece, I have got, um, these are the adhesive backed seasonal sequins and they are in our um, mini catalogue which runs through, is current now and runs through to January 2023. Yes, it's full of Christmas, uh, it has got a lot of Christmas um, products in there but it also has non-Christmas products and these seasonal sequins are perfect for any occasion. So. I have used the gold ones to tie in here and the thing I love about them is that they are adhesive backed so no worries with um, uh, glue or fiddling around the adhesives on there already and you are good to go which I absolutely love and there you have it very easy, very simple. I've put a link to the products that I've used in the description bar below today. I hope you enjoyed that product. Uh, sorry, I hope you enjoyed the project. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me, stampingmary at gmail.com. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye now.